What's up everybody? We are back again for another video for another ruckus vlog. Let me show you what's going on here. Alright. Oh, let me move that mic. So if you see here, besides the two dogs playing over there, you gotta keep them away from this paint. But wrinkle finish is looking really good. But I want to show you something else. So what we're going to do today is we're going to address these parts here. So there's a frame cover, side steps, and the splitter. That's what we got going on today. I'm going to hit these with the wrinkle paint. I think that's going to look really good with the carbon centerpiece tank. Um, and plus it's going to match the frame. That's what I want to go for. I'm going to go for that performance look. Not, not really that show scene look. I want more of that performance look for right now. If I don't like it, I always blast this off and then powder coat or do whatever I need. But what I'm picturing in my head, you know, I want that, you know, more performance ruckus bike look. So I'm going to hit this with that wrinkle paint and then we're going to go from there. And then let's see what else I address today as far as painting or reassembling. But the paint is already on, the frame is actually on its second coat. I might hit it two more times uh, heavily. So I want to just address some of the wrinkle areas a little bit better. It is warm today. It's going to be 75, not that warm, but it's warmer than yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that and we'll see how it turns out. Let's get started. Boom. Look at that. Ah, I like it. I like it. Look at this. Ow. Look at that. That came out really good. This is the back, by the way. I already did the front, back, bunch of coats, looking good. Let's go take a look at the frame. All right, everybody, there is the frame. Looking good, getting dry in the sun, baking, getting more wrinkly, but that's pretty much it. Took off the whole front end too. Painted the front, the bolts, the little brace, shock brace. It's looking good so only thing left to do is basically like I said do the holes for the wire harness and reroute the rear brake line because everything's gonna be tucked on the front of the frame and maybe start mounting the controls the rear of the bike but once I get to the rear of the bike I still got to shave off some of the brackets, clean that up, and then maybe next season I'll restrip the bike down in the back and then send it all out to get uh, powder coated. And we'll go from there. So yeah, um, for now I'll just touch touch up paint on the frame because I won't do a lot of grinding. I'm going to do it nice and low profile uh, like I did the rear, uh, rear brake removal. I didn't take off a lot I only took off what was necessary so I'll do a clean job as possible so once I get that done I'll be pretty much ready to assemble and then I can start putting on the motor brackets and all that good stuff and then the front end and then I could put the wheels on but I need the front hub to come in so I can mount all that up and then only thing left besides shaving those brackets off like I said is I'm going to scrub down the tank so I get ready to reinstall that with the splitter, the side steps and all that good stuff and then I wanted to make a custom bracket in the front to kind of hide the front section of the frame since I will no longer have the cables there. So that's pretty much it everybody. Quick little day and yeah just want to update you so stay tuned more content coming your way. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Nailed it.